Good morning, everyone. The story about this mother who was feeding her child in the high chair, and her two-year-old was sitting in the high chair, and the mother was on her cell phone as she's feeding the kids. She's texting and doing other things. And the little the two-year-old says, Mommy, Mommy, and the mother says, Yeah, what? And she's, you know, busy texting. And he says, Mommy, Mommy, listen to me. And she says, I'm listening, I'm listening, as she's texting. And the little two-year-old says, Mommy, you're not listening with your eyes. Today, we listen to people, but unfortunately with technology, we are often not listening with our eyes, because we're doing, we're multitasking. And this week's parsha we introduced to the first Jewish child, Isaac. And we find the incredible relationship that Abraham and Sarah had with their child. And it's best illustrated in the story of the binding of Isaac, where Abraham has to take his child to be sacrificed on Mount Moriah, and he, his son turns to him and says, where's the, where's the sheep for the sacrifice? And he says, my son, God asked me to sacrifice you. And the next words is, they continue to walk together. Imagine a child who's so, so connected and has so much faith and trust, not just in God, but in his father, that he's willing to go with his father on such a mission. So it's that powerful bond and connection between father and son that we try to replicate in our lives with our children. And the question is, what is the key to having that, that powerful, special relationship with your child? And here we find something amazing. What is the first word in the Torah recorded from the first father to first son? or the first parent to the first child, the first conversation ever recorded in the Torah. So it's in this week's parasha. Hashem comes to Avram and says, Avram. And what's the word that Avram responds with? Hineni. Hineni means I am here. I'm fully present. I'm ready to respond to whatever you need, whatever you want. And God says, take your son and offer him as a sacrifice. And then the Torah says, as they're walking towards Mount Moriah, Isaac turns to his father and he calls his father and it's and he, he, he says, Isaac says to his father, here is father, father, and his response is, Hineni be, I am here for you, my son. The same exact word, Hineni, that Abraham used to respond to God, it's the exact word he uses to respond to his child. Hineni, I'm fully present. I'm here, what do you want? What do you need? And it's that first word ever recorded that is the, Crash course in parenting. The most important thing you could ever do for your children is be there for them. Be fully present. When they call you, it's not tomorrow, later, I'm busy now, I'll see you, you know, or I'm doing something else, I'm listening while I'm doing something else. To be able to respond to your child, hineni, and that one word doesn't just mean yes, it means hineni, I'm fully here for you. That one word is the first word recorded from any parent to any Jewish child. And that's the key to being a good parent, always saying hineni. And we all know what happens, we're on the phone, our kids are talking to us, you know, we ignore them, this and that, to be able to put it all down. As they say, tune out to tune in, disconnect to connect. That's the key and the most important element in being a successful parent. The story to conclude with, it was this kid, his father was always very busy, working, working, he was always, Dad, I need to talk to you, uh, tomorrow I'm busy, I'm coming, I'm going. And um, one day the little kid says to his father, Dad, how much do you make an hour? He says, why do you need to know? He says, I'm just curious, how much do you make an hour? So he says, I make $30 an hour. Okay. A couple of weeks later, the kid comes back to him. He says, Daddy, I collected, I saved my money. Here's $30. Could I buy an hour of your time? The most precious thing we could give our kids is our time. Not presence with a T, but presence, our presence. And then we could hope and pray that our children will have as much trust and faith in our values as Yitzhak had in the values of his father Abraham.